What's going on, guys? Orange Forum coming at you guys today with another video. This is the aftermath, week eight. Uh, the Tennessee Titans facing Detroit Lions going up to Ford Field. Detroit Lions blow these guys out of the water, 52 to 14. Uh, the Tennessee Titans falling to one and six. Lions going up to six and one. First place in the NFC North. A massive blowout win for the Lions. Um, looked a little dicey at first. Looked like there was going to be a shootout. Then it just turned out to be a, a total nightmare for the, the Titans. And yes, I do have a Mohawk. I went to a Halloween party over the weekend. And I might not change it. It's actually kind of comfortable. Um, but let's talk about some injuries during games, game, some inactives. Tennessee Titans were pretty, pretty clean health-wise in-game. They did have guys like quarterback Will Levis out with a shoulder. Cornerback Legereus Sneed was a big one for them with a quad injury. Um, but pretty healthy during in-game. Nothing really to report. The Lions, you guys know they had Joshua Pascal out, the defensive end. Illness, inactive. Uh, linebacker Malcolm Rodriguez did get hurt during game. Rolled an ankle. Um, we'll see how uh, uh, serious it is. Dan Campbell alluding to he doesn't think it's going to be very um, very serious. But we'll check during the week and see how Malcolm is. Hopefully he returns because he was playing good football. Um, stats, get to the stats. We do the Titans first. Obviously, mm -hmm. quarterback Mason Rudolph, who's, who, who got the start. He is the backup. He was 22 for 38 with a 57.8% um, completion percentage. 266 yards, touchdown, two picks. He was sacked only once. Um, rushing, running back Tony Pollard was 20 carries for 94 yards, 4.7 yards a carry. Good little running back there. Uh, running back Julius T Chestnut had seven carries for 32 yards, 4.6 yards a carry. And quarterback Mason Rudolph, not really known for his running ability, had four carries for 29 yards and a touchdown, 7.3 yards a carry, 158 yards as a unit for the Titans. Um, yeah, we couldn't like couldn't really stop their run game, you know, yardage wise. Anyways, you know, they weren't scoring a whole bunch, but uh, they did get a touchdown from Rudolph. But uh, it's pretty nice for a unit as in, as in yardage wise, right? And then receiving, uh, wide receiver Calvin Ridley had a huge day. Of course, the week I drop him <laughs> in fantasy football. Um, 10 catches for 143 yards. He did have a fumble and a fumble lost, actually. 14.3 um, uh, yards a catch um, on 15 targets. Uh, wide receiver Nick Westbrook, Akeen, had two catches for 39 yards and uh, one touchdown and 19.5 yards. 19.5 um, yards a catch, two targets. Um, as well. Tight end Josh Wiley had two two catches, 33 yards on 16.5 yards a catch. Uh, running back Tony Pollard and Chris uh, Chig and Gonquo uh, did have um, uh, two catches each. Um, and Gonquo did have a did have a fumble and a fumble loss as well. Jaquan Jackson had a fumble and a, and, and he fumbled his own he, he fumbled his own ball. So a fumble and a fumble recovery. So right there. And then defensively Linebacker Jack Gibbons, you know, I think Jerome Baker, I, I'm pretty sure he was inactive for this game, <clears throat> had eight tackles. Jerome Baker coming from the Dolphins, or Seattle, actually. He was with the Dolphins, went to Seattle, now he's in, now he's in Tennessee. Poor guy. Um, then safety, Quandre Diggs had seven tackles. Safety, Amani Hooker had seven tackles. Outside linebacker Arden Key had six tackles, two tackles for loss. He had three quarterback hits. He did have a forced fumble as well, and he had two sacks. He was giving fits to to uh, Taylor Decker all day. Decker didn't have a good game. He um, he was either sacking the quarterback or he was causing some pressure. So he struggled against them. Um, quarterback Jarvis Jarvis Brownlee Jr. had five tackles, a tackle for loss. Defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons, all pro defensive tackle there, four tackles, two tackles for loss, one quarterback hit, one sack, and a forced fumble as well. Cornerback Roger McCreary had three tackles, two tackles for loss. QB hit and a sack. Quarterback Daryl Baker had one tackle and one pass deflection. So not a lot to talk about that Tennessee Titans defense. Um, their offense didn't do them any favors by putting these guys in a rough in, in a rough spot um, for most of the game. I th I think you'll realize that when I talk about some numbers here with the Lions. <clears throat> yeah, so it was hard. It was hard for these guys. That's, a, that's a, actually a really good defense. It really is. It just shows that we have a superior superior offense. And like I said earlier, Tennessee's offense, special teams or whatever, they were not putting their defense in, in, in good position to stop that. 
you're never going to win games if you're giving up the ball. So, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a rough go for the Titans all around. Go to the Lions. Quarterback Jared Goff. He was 12 for 15, only 85 yards. He threw for three touchdowns, though, no picks. He was sacked four times, 80% completion percentage. Um, finally pulled him. I think it was either late third or early fourth. Um, Hennon Hooker was two for, and Hennon Hooker came in. He was two for three for six yards. Running back David Montgomery got in on the action. He was one for one, 100% completion percentage. Uh, three yard, and, and he threw a touchdown to Stan Laporta. Um, rushing the ball. Rushing the ball, we 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 uh, running back Jameer Gibbs had a great day. Eleven carries, 127 yards, uh, one touchdown, 11.5 yards a carry. He had a 70-yard touchdown run all the way down the sideline. Beautiful run, no one touched him. Uh, you, you don't get a good angle on him, you're not going to catch him. And the running back David Gummery had nine carries for 33 yards and a touchdown, 3.7 yards a carry, um, 164 yards as a unit. So you know. Um, Gibbs having the big day, back-to-back games with over 100-plus, so good for them. Um, Receiving-wise, tight end, Sam Laporta, it wasn't really big here either. You know, touchdowns, but yards, you, you'll notice. Tight end, Sam Laporta, six catches for 48 yards and a touchdown, eight yards a catch, six targets. Uh, wide receiver, Khalif Raymond, had a huge day, just an overall day. Two catches, 14 yards, touchdown, seven yards a carry, um, a catch, and two targets. Uh, tight end Brock Wright, he was one catch for eight yards on one touchdown, eight yards a catch. Wide receiver Amon Ross St. Brown, only two car, two two catches for like seven, I, I believe it was 17 yards or seven yards. Um, he didn't have a big day. It was seven yards, right? I think, yeah, seven yards and one touchdown, 3.5, 3.5 yards a catch. And wide receiver, the rookie out of Illinois, Isaiah Williams, was two for six yards uh, on... Um, uh, on two, uh, what's it called, two targets there as well. Uh, it just wasn't like a big day numbers-wise for um, anybody really. Gibbs with the only really big day, you know, um, for yards. Cleef Raymond, we'll talk about that in a second, but like the leading receiver was Sam Laporta with 48 yards. It was just one of those games, man, where special teams just completely took over. And when I talk about taking over, they took over. But let's talk about the defense real quick. Oh, obviously, too, wide receiver Allen Robinson and Tim Patrick did have a target each, but no catches. And then defensively, linebacker Jack Campbell had 11 tackles. He had a nice day. Cornerback rookie Terry Arnold had seven tackles, a pass deflection. He struggled a little bit. He struggled a little bit against Ridley. You know, Carlton Davis struggled a little bit against Ridley. Amik Robinson, whoever was on him, kind of didn't have a good day um, overall. Stopped him from coming in the end zone, but that's really about it. But yardage-wise, it, it was a little bit rough. Linebacker Alex Anzalone had six tackles, tackle for loss. Quarterback hit, a sack. Um, safety Brian Branch had six tackles, quarterback hit. He got beat a couple times in the passing game. Kirby Joseph had six tackles, two pass deflections, and he had a really nice pick where he read Rudolph all the way. It was weird, too, because before that before that series or, seri- or two series before, I believe it was... Um, Aaron Glenn was cussing him out bad uh, on the sideline when he was coming off the sideline, just screaming at him. And then you saw him come up and step up and boom. Um, Cornerback Khalil Dorsey had four tackles. Defensive end Isaiah Thomas had three tackles and a fumble recovery. Cornerback Carlton Davis had two tackles, pass deflection, and a fumble recovery. Defensive lineman Levi and Ruzurica had two tackles, two quarterback hits, couple pressures too. He was the... He was involved in the Trevor Nowoski interception. Um, he was pressuring Rudolph, and that kind of got Rudolph to, th- to kind of throw off his ball. He was trying to get the ball off a little bit too quick, and, and, and Nowoski read it well and just stepped in front of his man. Um, where am I at? Amik Robertson had two tackles, tackle for loss, two forced fumbles. Uh, defensive tackle Lee McNeil had three tackles, one tackle for loss. No tackle, DJ Reader had two tackles. Defensive end, uh, James Houston had two tackles and a quarterback hit. He had a couple pressures that I saw too as well. Then linebacker Trevor Nowoski had a pass deflection and an interception. Now, I don't talk about this enough, and I think I should talk about it more, but you got to talk about it now. Their their special teams were crazy. Clear Dorsey on kick return had one, one, one return for 72 yards. 
You almost got to the house. Punt return, Cleef Raymond at five for 190 yards. It was like 19 yards off the record. 38 yard average. He had a touchdown. It was awesome. He had, he, like, he, he had a big day. He had a really big day. Got in his own twice. One for one catch, one punt return. And Jake Bates was only one for one, 51 yard long, though. Even Jack Fox got in on the mix. He had five catches for um, yarders worth of 305 yards, 61 average, 67 long. So he was he was big. Three three of them went inside the 20. He, so he had a huge game. He had a huge day too. Special teams just took over. Dave Phipp, I think, even got one of the game balls. You know, I think Dave Phipp and and Raymond. I think there might have been a. Th- I think he gives out three game balls. I don't remember who got the third. Maybe it was just two. Maybe it was just two this week. <clears throat> but I know Phipp, Dave Phipp, the special teams coach, and Khalif Raymond did get one. So I don't know who the third one. Maybe there wasn't a guy. But this game was a weird game to watch. Like I, like I saw, guys. It, like You put this game on, you watch it. You see you see Tennessee go down to field score. We come down score. It was kind of back and forth. 14, 14, whatever it was, a couple, you know, I think we struggled a little bit. I think, I think, I think they stopped us a couple times before we even got on the board. And then, you know, we got on the board finally. Then they got on the board again. And it was like, you know, it was kind of like, oh no, this looks like it's going to be a shootout. Like, come on, Tennessee doesn't have a great offense. And they don't. They don't have a great offense. It just, you know, it looked like it was going to be one of those days. Then all of a sudden we just shut it down. But defensively, you know, we gave up a ton of yards. It was like over, it was close to 400 or 400 plus yards we gave up th- through the air and ground. Um, both, you know, they had they had 200 and, 266 plus another 158. That's that's 400 yards. Like, you know what I mean? That that's that that's basically 400 yards. That's over 400 yards. Um, that's over 400. Yeah, that's that, that's clearly over 400. Um, so it's not like we had a great day defensively. We it was one of those games where we're getting gashed through the air and the ground, but we stopped them from scoring. That's what we've kind of been doing all year. The bend but don't break. You know, it looked like it was going to be one of those games where it was going to be forty to forty one. Looked like one of those games, but finally they stopped. You know, the defense finally was like, okay, this is enough. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers were really big. We couldn't get to the quarterback much. A couple pressures here and there. I guess El um, El Quanta Muhammad, Muhammad, the guy that they called up from the practice squad, which I said that they were, is a possibility, and I forgot, and I think I mentioned it in my preview, but um, that's who they called up. They didn't call up Uku. So, because I think if they bring up Uku one more time, they have to sign him to the 53. I don't know if they want to do that, obviously. But Muhammad's got a little bit more experience, a little bit more skill. He came up, and he had about five or six pressures, apparently, according to PFF. That's what I read. So I didn't, you know, you, you didn't see him on the stat sheet. You didn't see Muhammad on the stat sheet making tackles or anything like that, but he did make some plays. Okay, you know, getting into throwing lanes, pressuring the quarterback, making it's all about timing. It's all about timing. So he did that, and in the Lions, you know, turnover, turnover, turnover. Um, a couple interceptions, a couple balls knocked out by you know, um, Amik Robertson knocked out a couple. Um, I think I think it was a DJ Reader might have knocked out one. I forget, but um, it was pretty, you know, the defense looked like they had enough. It was like, okay, man, this is ridiculous. And they did that. They gave up a lot through the air, though, and and a lot on the ground. That's just what's going to happen. Not a ton through the air, but they gave up big yardage to guys like Calvin Ridley, 143 yards, you know. But everybody else, they kind of held in check, except for really Ridley and, you know, Pollard almost had 100 yards rushing. But they kept him out of the, they kept everybody, all those running backs out of the end zone. Mason did run for one, and they kept pretty much everybody out of the um, end zone for receiving. You know, they got the one from Westbrook, Ikeen. But other than that, you know, they gave up some yardage. But they played pretty well. Still not a lot of pressure. All the pressure came mostly from the linebackers. Anzalone with the one sack, and that was it. That was just one sack from Anzalone, and that's all. We didn't get any other sacks. And then offensively, Offensively, it was just one of those things again when it comes to special teams and it comes to turnovers. They were turning the ball over a ton into their own territory. And the Lions didn't have a far to go. Goff and company didn't have far to go. It was just one of those games. So, you know, he, he that's why he didn't throw for a ton of yards. We threw three touchdowns. We ran the ball well. We had the one long one by Gibby. 
But other than that, it was just a lot of short field for about five or six drives. It was just, it was one of those games, man. Special teams just took over. Special teams and defense kind of took over that game. And uh, timely, timely turnovers again. And it was just, you know, like once it was 14 14, that was it. Tennessee never scored again. They didn't get close, really. Um, we're just getting turnover after turnover. Sacked them once, you know. Just, you know, it just, it was just one of those days. One of those days that Raymond had a huge game. Raymond had a huge game on off, uh, uh, well, a huge game on special teams, and he's got in the end zone on offense. But no guys really with big, big numbers. Laporta, fifth 48 yards. So one of those games where we dominated, dominated special teams. All three phases of the game, you know, you've heard it, you've heard it a thousand times. You'll hear it a thousand times more. All three phases: special teams, defense, and, and uh, offense. And then that's it. It was just one of those. It was just one of those games, man. This is one of those days. It was just just different, just different. It was a fun game to watch, you know, with, with the turnovers and you know scoring touchdown, put fifty two on the board. You know, I was hoping they were going to go sixty. You know, I was hoping they go sixty, but um, just is what it, it is. What it is, man. Tennessee's a terrible football team, but. They do have a good defense, and uh, their offense, Tennessee's offense, didn't give them any, didn't give them any help, didn't give them any help whatsoever. Man, you're not going to ask an NFL team, even if, you're, even if you're a good defense like Tennessee, and just say we were playing a medium, say they were playing a medium offense, you're you're asking a lot for a team to 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 stop, like to stop um, from not scoring, and then you're going to do that against the Lions with this juggernaut offense. Good luck. You don't stand a chance, especially at home, especially at, especially on the road if you're Tennessee and we're at home, right? Just one of those games, man. One of those games, and it was just a fun game to watch. Now, next game is the Packers, who won a um, last-second field goal, too. They're 6-2, and two, I believe. Um, yeah, I think they're 6-2. and two. They're right there. They're right there. This is going to be for first place. This is going to be for first place because if we beat them, we got that. Obviously, we got seven wins. If they beat us, the, the record will be seven and two. So, you know what I mean? So, big games coming up for the Lions. That's at 425, I believe, that game. So, that's it, guys. About a 17 minutes and change. Going to be 18 soon. Video. I really appreciate you guys coming in and, and watching the vid. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Don't forget to hit the notification bell up top. Don't forget to like, comment, share this out. Go Lions, Detroit versus everybody. First place, let's go. Boom.